Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a quick balletic routine that is perfect for mornings or when you don't have so much time. So let's get to it. We're gonna start off in a second position and doing low squats here. You can add the arms as I am doing or you can just keep them to the side or in front of you how you like. What's important here is that our stomach is in, our shoulders are down, our chest is up, so our posture is really, really nice here. Don't pay too much attention to your legs. If your turnout is not very open, that's totally fine. Just do as much as you can. All right, so we're gonna stay in this squat now and we're gonna lift our heels into releve. Arms are out onto the side. Still keeping our stomach in here, posture nice and straight. If you'd like to add a little arm movement, that's totally fine. But if you want to just keep them to the side, that's also fine. Good, now we're gonna pause on one side. So heel is up on one side and we're gonna pulse it out. The arms are going down and above us and around. So now release the heel and we're just gonna stay in the squat. And we're just gonna go side and to the side. One arm is down and one arm is above us. Try your best to really make this a nice line. Try not to slouch or stick your stomach out here. Good, now stretch your legs and let's stay in that side position. And we're just gonna go up and down with one arm. Keeping those stomach muscles really strong here. Good, hold and come up. Come a little bit closer. And we're just gonna go up and down with our arms. So they're going down, up, and around. Going all the way to fifth and around. So we're really working our arms here. And also taking kind of a break from that intense leg workout and just catching a breath and stabilizing your heartbeat a bit before we continue with the next round. All right, now we're gonna change the arm movement. So we're just gonna go out to the side and back up. This is a very quick movement, but if you need to take it slower, please do so. All right, release slowly, and we're gonna come back to those squats. If you need to reposition your feet, make them a little bit farther apart or closer, please do so. Good. keep going, stomach is in, following the arms. All right, we're gonna come for those releve lifts in a moment. So stay in the squat and we're just gonna lift the heels. You can add an arm movement if you want or you can keep them out to the side. Good, so let's pause on one side and we're just going to go up and down in nice little pulses. Arms are following, they're going down and then up and around. Really get low. And let's repeat the side stretch on the other side. Still holding that deep low squat. All right, so we're just gonna stretch our legs now. Hold that side stretch. Now we're just gonna meet the bottom arm with the top one. Really making sure that our stomach muscles are nice and tight here. Try not to slouch or over arch the back. 
keeping a nice straight line to the side. Keep going. All right, and release. And we're just gonna come down and up and around with our arms again. Bringing your legs a little bit closer, coming to a comfortable standing position, whatever you like. Stomach is nice and tight, please don't forget that. And your posture is nice and straight. Great, now changing the arm exercise, so we're just going from the side all the way up into fifth. Very fast movement. Good, and finish. So we're just gonna go side to side now, working those obliques. Preferably staying in a second position, but if this is a bit too uncomfortable for you, you can keep your feet in sixth position or just straight forward. Just side to side, keeping the stomach nice and tight. Don't slouch here, don't arch here. All right, and release. And we're gonna go down to the floor. You don't need a mat for this, but if you would like, take one. All right, so we're gradually gonna come into a plank. We're gonna lift one leg up and then the other, and then we're gonna lift one arm up and then the other, and then repeat. Keeping those hips nice and low, creating a straight line between your head and your hips. Almost like you wanna tuck your belly button in. Good, now we're gonna come for a side plank. We're gonna to return to the plank and then other side. So again, side plank, return to normal plank and then the other side, side plank. And when we go into the side plank, we're keeping one foot in front of us. So instead of stacked up on each other, so it's easier to transition. And let's come back to a normal plank. And we're just gonna lower one knee and then alternate. So knee is lowered and then we're alternating, almost like we're walking, trying to meet those knees to the floor, keeping our butt under the entire time, so don't lift it. And let's slowly release. And we're gonna come for our stretches. So first we're gonna start off in a cow face position. So stacking one knee on top of the other. And we're just gonna stretch out that butt and hip. Go down and relax. And slowly release and let's go on to the other side. Trying to get as low as you can, trying to stack those knees exactly on top of each other. But if you can't do that, that's fine. Just really try your best and try to go a little bit more each and every time. Good, release. Let's come for an easy pose and we're just gonna stretch to the side, stretching out those obliques, other side. Good, stretch your arms in the back, catching your hands. Good, roll your shoulders. Release the tension, going forward now. Let's stretch out our neck side to side. 
just relaxing, you can do half circles. And let's come down. Good, come up. And we're finished for today. So I hope you guys like that workout and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.